then. Well, he just reminded me of freaking, um, what was it called? Uh, what? Full Metal Alchemist when the older brother is like shorter than the younger, but then the older brother's, no, the younger brother's taller, but then like, you know, a turn of events. Oh, we were a Yeah. Anyway, whatever. What's up, ACJ Universe? What's up, Pineapple Heads? And today we're going to do a damn podcast um, on Antebellum. So we're going to get into that. Um, we're going to do a little summary spoiler thing. So if you haven't watched the movie, make sure you go watch it. Um, I watched mine yesterday on my PS4 because they was up for it. You know, you sell it, whatever. Um, I'm going to just say this. I wasted 20 bucks before we get into the video. Um, but you still can watch it. You know, I looked at the reviews afterwards. And it was basically on one side, um, I think. Um, for it to be put in the horror genre... You know, I understand, but it wasn't really a horror. I'm guessing it was horror for, like, you know, what happened to the slaves and stuff. I'm guessing it was, like, trying to be that. I think the shock value was just, like, oh, yeah, how traumatic it was. That's what, the, or I don't know how the violent it was, I guess, or the. Yeah, but that, but, like, if that was trying to be horror for, like, slavery, but we all, we already had, a, like, these slave movies. Uh, we had, you know, Roots, uh, Django, uh, stuff like that, 12 Years of Slave. We already had slave movies. We know what slaves go through. Um. <laughs> But, like, if they was trying to say, like, slavery is a horror, we know that. But I was expecting a horror movie. Um, you know, the plantation wasn't, you know, a poltergeist or anything. It wasn't run by no slave uh, killer or slave uh, person trying to, you know, le uh, lead a revolution. It wasn't nothing like that. Um, but Antebellum, it was released September 18, 2020. We watched it yesterday uh, night. Um, of course, for uh, horror, we thought it would be scary. But the directors and screenwriters were uh, Garrett Bush and Christopher Benz. Um, I think this was their first movie ever. Yeah, I, I, I think they were, I mean, they were like the co-producers of Get Out. But Jordan Peele had nothing to do with this movie. Yeah, it, it, they, they basically tried to copy and paste, but it came out as a bootleg originality. Um, that's what I call it. Uh, what? None of that was going uh, on. No, I, <laughs> no, I just felt like this movie, like the concept could have been good, but the execution was yeah. had poorly, poorly, poorly done. It was, it was a uh, time. It was like a part in the. It was part of the movies where. Oh damn! I didn't even get into the thing. Where, oh, before we get into this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, follow the channel, and make sure you go to my cousin's channel, our cousin's channel, uh, Doctor Red. Um, I'll put his link in the description. Um, yeah. So let's get back to it. Um, what were you saying? Oh, no, 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 we was just... Oh, yeah. But, um, the... I guess what the movie was saying, that black people are silent. Because I never got the... You know, they was like... You couldn't talk during the certain scenes where they was, like, picking cotton. Uh, it was a poetic scene, though, in the beginning. It was, like, all slow motion. We don't know what's going on, but we see that we're on a plantation with the Confederate soldiers. And it's these two lovers, uh, man and woman trying to get away um the woman runs she gets caught and it's stuff like that it's like the poetic thing and we see we see you know monet's character get taken off a horse so he's like me and my brother always thought both of us but we didn't say nothing he was like her hair is too good to be a slave if that makes sense yeah no see i said the same thing too when we're introduced to another character like a couple of minutes in um her character that character's hair was too good to me to be a, in a slave movie like your hair ain't, is not going to be cut perfectly and it looks healthy and full of volume and stuff like that especially if it's going to be taking place before like before the civil war and stuff like that like your hair is not going to be spot on perfect but yeah. that character's hair was a little bit too spot on perfect which kind of like i know implied later on doing a movie like what the real thing was but i don't yeah, know i just against what's going on i just thought that was suspicious but uh with the movie um it was a slow burner. It really was a slow burner to get to the point because we spent 40 minutes with this character not really know what's going on, where she came from. Uh, we didn't really know nothing about the villains of the movie. We really didn't get no backstory about the villains. We just knew that it was certain slave members that were, well, slave members that will come to her asking for help. So I'm thinking she's portraying like a Harriet Tubman in this movie and this other male characters like a Nate Turner, Nat Turner, how you say his name, they led the rebellion on plantations for slaves while also killing the uh, uh, masters and all that stuff, the lady, uh, women or whatever that was married to them. But um, 
the costume design um, for the movie, I liked it. Uh, you know, but I'm not really gonna get into detail about this. I'm just talking about the movie and the acting. I gotta say this too: if you're gonna make a movie, can you you had to start off your movie with having a a character that's likable, kinda to me. And yeah. I just feel like I didn't really, cause her character was quiet. There was nothing to even go about. Like, her yeah. if you're gonna be a main character story, the main character story usually rebels. Like, they're the main person that's like d causing the like you know the movie to like progress. And I just feel like the entire forty minutes it was just her just accepting whatever was going on. And the light skin, I just say it with the light skin, um, friend that she had later on. Not friend really, because they didn't really get along. Well, the, the mm. new character that we're introducing, stuff of like that, she was actually willing to like rebel and stuff of like that. She gave more and more main character quality traits than Janae, Jan, Janelle Monae char main character in the um, Eden, her name is Eden, the character's name Eden. In the film, I just feel like I would rather would have liked to seen the light-skinned character girl be the main character in the Janelle, Mo Janelle Monae character because she felt like she wanted to actually yeah do something about what's going on instead of just being... I don't know because they really didn't give that many... They really didn't give anybody... A backstory. They didn't give nobody anything to work they, with. And not movie. even not even her friends that were in this like three four scenes with her. They really didn't know backstory. And then I can't tell if they were really friends or not because they didn't. We didn't see them interact except like at two points in the movie. Really? Oh, no. Lower it? Probably. Yeah. There we go. All right. Just edit this out. Let's just pause for like a good minute and just. Okay. I'm gonna say. Oh my bad. We had some camera difficulty. Difficult. Damn, we had some camera difficulties. Um, but we're going to get back to the movie. Uh, so the cast was Janelle Monet, Eric Lange. Uh, Janelle Monet, if you don't know her, she's a singer. Um, I really haven't, you know, heard any of her music or know if she played anything else. Eric Lange, he is Cycle Woods, right? From uh, Victorious? Yes. Yeah, that's the only way um, I know him. Uh, we have Jack Houston. How do you say her name? Who? Gabriel Sadib. <laughs> Gabriel Sidibe. Sidibe, yes. <laughs> she was also in Precious and the uh, Empire show. And she was also um, in American Horror Story. Um, yeah, in various American Horror Story seasons uh, Covenant as well. Covenant Hotel. But she did a lot more Empire and, you know, all the different type of stuff. Yeah, like I said that. You did? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> so anyway, so basically the movie summary or... Whatever we're trying to give you is basically we go through the film, you no know, following a slave uh, named Eden. They changed her name like uh, they did in Roots with Okuta Kite, uh, played by Janelle Monet. Finding out everything is not what it seems. She's kidnapped from her city life uh, to live in this plantation in Louisiana. I found out it was in Louisiana because of how it, the area looked. I mean, I'm in the I lived in the country, but I know how certain geographic uh, areas look, and I knew. Spot on, that was Louisiana. So they was taking like deep, deep, deep down the bayou because they were uh, kidnapped. So nobody knows where they're at. Um, so to find out that it's like people reenacting the Civil War in a way. Um, so what, honestly, what this movie was missing, it was missing everything. <laughs> it was just missing everything. But other than that, uh, it would. It needed more. It need. It tried to be get out bad. It really tried to be get out. It really. It really did try to be a get out. A kind of like to me. It did try to be a get out spinoff. And there was nothing. There was no lore, no backing, no exposition or anything in this movie. We're just thrown with whatever's happening. Is just happening. We don't even like. We don't get enough backstory. If we would have got more backstory in the villains, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, or something. Like, but we did. We got none. None of that. We're just like, yep, it's happening because. Yeah. But then people. Some people point out. Well, that's the point because slavery was just because we can. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was just because of um this stuff. It did, didn't have no point. But the thing is, if you're gonna make a movie. At least make it have some point to like so people can understand it better. Just because a few people could understand what it was like for no reason, that doesn't mean everybody is going to understand your point of view. Like understand like it was just for no reason. Stuff like that. Like how you feel about slavery. You got to understand that if you're going to do a movie, you're supposed to like make a point and a message that is universal, so that 
each and everybody can understand it no matter how sm big or small. Maybe it was there, but we just really didn't see it. And other people that, probably because would say, the like, execution was horrible. Like, cause just because they were doing it just to do it, and it kind of was just like slavery. They were just doing it. that. That's not a good. That's not a. You can't make a movie just on that. Just like they were just doing it just to do it. That's okay. Then the, 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 the movie's done. I would say this shouldn't be called a horror. It should be just called a psychological thriller. Yeah, I don't know why it was labeled as a horror. It, it nothing was scary. It was not. And then they try to add some scary elements, which did not when they it fell flat. Like the little girl element and stuff. They try. Right, she's like shh. Like, they try to make her creepy and stuff like that. That wow. fell flat because it felt like the most awkward scene to me because it was like. I don't know. It just felt so awkward and weird that they just added that little girl. Because when they showed the trailers, they trying to made it. They made it seem like it was gonna be like I don't know, like scary. Yeah, it's scary. But then the little girl part lasted like a minute, and it just she was the one that gave Kirstie Clemens her name. That's yeah, where but, she came from. But it just it it felt flat for me because it was just like okay, she's there, and then she leaves. Yeah. So in my mind, you know, they're bringing more people in. So I'm guessing this is. Because when Kirstie Crimson character comes into the movie, she's saying, I was taken from North Carolina. So I'm thinking, oh, wow, there got to be more people doing this or that, you know, she knew where she was coming from or she knew that, like, I'm thinking we're actually back in the slave time. Um, but no. So I'm thinking Kirstie Crimson knows what's going on and she's just trying to find a way to escape. But... They don't do nothing with that. Like, she tries, she tries, and then, you know, spoiler, she ends up killing herself. She hangs herself. Um, be careful, because, you know, YouTube, if it, you know, YouTube, no, YouTube nowadays is sensitive, so you got to make sure you make sure you use her, like, Oh, she and... took her life, um, qu quietly, I guess. <laughs> That's how I was gonna say it. I ain't trying to get it monetized. But, um. Yeah, we didn't get nothing with her character. And then there was another character that we got was with her, the male figure. Um, I didn't know his name. I, I don't know. I think they said it one time or something. But I don't know. Because she barely interacted with him. Like He'll come to the door. What's the plan? She like, shh. And close the door. Then. And the thing about that, people will come to her about a plan. She just got there. And. And I'm just That's thinking, what, I'm what made her, what, what inferred to everybody that she had some form of place? She just there just as much as y'all. That's what I'm saying. And we really didn't get a time stamp or I must have been ten, paying attention of when, how long she'd been there. This is the thing to me. If you was going to have those characters, like the, the um, what was her name? The light skin girl? Uh, Kirstie Clinton. If you would have had those characters and that, that male character there, you should have had them had a, some form of relationship or acquaintance with the main character yeah. or something. It would just like, they just assumed she had a plan. No, at least had them like back in the modern time when she just living her regular life. Like she knows this girl or she knows this dude. Like she, she works with this dude or something like that. I, Instead of just like, we just like characters that's come to her. Yeah, because we didn't really know nothing about these characters. But the only thing about... Uh, Janelle, Janelle Monet character is we knew she was a hard working person she was a uh, political person yeah journalist I, journalist I assume. Um, we knew that she was living a good life she has a kid she has a husband um, she goes out of town for a meeting or a conference um, or a what is it uh, what is it? a motivation speaker yeah, type thing yeah. for black women um but that's all we know. We know that her friend Precious came there to celebrate with her. Her friend Precious? I don't think. No, I mean. I don't think that's I'm problem. sorry. But Just you know, say Gab, Gabri, Gabri, or Gabby character or something. Gabby like character. Gabby character. Um, we know that she was came there to celebrate. Then we got her white friend. I don't even know. I didn't even know her name. They did not. I didn't even. They just threw her in there. And I just never like. Yeah. They would just like. I don't know. They just never gave none for, for both of those characters. Like, yes, Gab Gabby's character was just the um, rambunctious, like, you know. Like, I just feel like her character was a little stereotypical of, like, how um, big black women, like, well, not big, well, bigger black women are. Mm. They just trying to make them seem loud and, and, and ghetto and ratchet and all over the place and stuff like that. And, like, that was a... Hold on, hold on. Um, he meant to say plus size. Oh. Yeah. Should, should I go back and edit that? 
No, it's fine. I just okay. You. Well, plus size woman and stuff like that. I just feel like they kind of stereotype um stereotyped her a little bit, just being loud and rambunctious and stuff like ratchet. that. Ratchet. Yeah, ratchet and overly freaking quirk um quirky and so like, and I just felt like that did not go well to me because it was nothing wrong with it. It's just the way they executed it. They, because they executed it in one whole scene when they went to dinner. And, like, uh, when she was getting her friend out of conversation with this lady. Um, it's different ways to, like, execute that for a certain character. But I don't think they did it right or in an appropriate tone. In the scene where the guy gave her a drink and then she gave him, like, a whole dissertation. And, like, yeah, filibuster, and like, what type of drink he should be sending. And, like, we didn't see the face. And, well, like, so we're suggesting that, you know, he's the one of the people that kidnapped. But they didn't know. even at least show him, like, him. They didn't show, like we, we don't know who the guy was. If it was gonna, why would you hide the identity of a character we so, don't even... So, I'm guessing it was Jack Houston, the, the general dude, or... Uh, lieutenant. Yeah, the 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 nervous, well, the nervous at first one. No, nah, that yeah. was that was Daniel. Well, I thought it was the, the Daniel character to me because I just felt like I mean there had to be some point that he was. I don't know what the fuck they was doing with his character because at first he was like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to be here, and then when he get in the cabin with Chrissy Clemson, he beats her and like, yeah, I got the power now, and to me, I'm thinking. Where where was that where was that going where was that going because it just took a turn. For no reason. No, and this is the thing about the, the that scene. That scene, if she, okay, they made it seem like it was like back in a slave time, something like that. But realistically, if somebody, if you're one on one with somebody that like you don't know what's going on or where you're at and stuff like that, and you know that you were taken from a modern place, wouldn't you be like, what's going on here? Why am I here? What's what happened to my family? Where am I like? Am I being punked or anything like that? She didn't say none of that. She just acted. Her role, but realistically, a person in a modern times that they would have like come in contact with like one on one with that person, they'd be like, "What are you like?" Yeah, they she just didn't ask no. I don't know. She I just, agree. I agree. I agree. Um, what was it? It was this one scene that was so confusing to me. It was one of the scene. Um, spoiler again. I'm gonna give you a second if you don't want to watch the video. Um, it was it's the scene where Kirstie Clinton she's pregnant. Uh, Daniel beats her, kicks her in the stomach. Uh, next day in the cotton field, she's getting fed up. She wants to tell Janae Monet's character, I'm ready to go. What do we need to do? Blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden she has a miscarriage um, in the cotton field. And then the black dude that's working with her, I guess, try to cause a distraction so the people won't go see her. Oh, that scene. Oh, my goodness. I thought I repressed it. I repressed it. And it was so cringy and so freaking, I don't know. Yeah, and then he said, he told the dude so he wouldn't go over there. He said, cracker. And so they did that. Why are you both stopping looking like that? We in production, right. Uncle. You in what? Production. Why are you using such big words? Production. Uses those words. Who y'all in production with? Just your sales? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle. Oh, just like y'all registering, just talking and producing, producing your sales. Yes, yeah, Uncle. Okay. Well, keep talking. I want to hear what you guys say. You can watch the video later, Uncle. I, I can't do that. I don't. I don't like watching. I told you the damn movie's too long. I can't be up there watching the, the movies. Okay. But if you just go ahead and do it now while watching, you got my undivided attention. Go for it. So, anywho, um, it was the scene where the dude called the lieutenant or whatever, uh, the cracker, and that scene made no sense because after that, she still just went to go help Chrissy Clemson's character with that. I don't understand. She signaled him or something. She signaled him to say something, but... What, the what, distraction didn't go nowhere. Why did Why did he need? Why did she need a distraction? Or why did he? I don't know. It just felt like she didn't need that, and she just got him in trouble yeah, for no me, reason. Because the dude still went over there to go see what was going on, um, you know, and all that. And then he went back to the dude and told him to go clean the pig shit. I think, I believe. No, and, he told him to go to go clean the shed. Go clean the shed because the shed oh, had burnt and yeah, yeah. Shed, yeah. And his wife was in there. Um, so, yeah, his, uh, wife died. I got shot in the beginning of the movie with the slow motion. Um, I think that scene did not make any sense at all. I guess it was a scene just for, yes, uncle. 
Where you get pig shit from? Uncle, I thought he said pig shit. Oh, okay. Uncle, no, when I'm in work, when I'm in work. I hear Paul. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta raise my hand. You gotta raise my hand. All right, hold on. Okay. Do you get paid for this? Uncle. So, okay, hold on. If you don't get paid for it, it ain't work. All right, so but keep going. So when I hit, when we hit over. 2,000 subscribers uh-huh. and then some and we start getting YouTube checks. Uh-huh. Don't say nothing. I am, I'm not saying nothing now. I'm just telling you because you said when I'm at work, but if you're not getting paid for it now, then it's not work. But when you get paid good money for it, then it's work. See, right now it's a hobby. There's a difference between hobby and work. So right now it's a hobby. I just want to make sure you had your terminology correct because like when I walk up in here and you say produ- production, then you using them big ass words. I just wanted to make sure that you know how to define your vocabulary between hobby and work when you're speaking to me. Okay. I get the movie 2 out of 10. I give the movie also a 2 out of 10. And the only reason I get it a 2 out of 10 if that is because I liked the... Um, I like the the um, the costumes, like you said. I like the costumes. The atmosphere was it, it it was okay at first, and it just went nowhere. I thought the scenes were shot beautifully. It was just that it was executed very poorly. Welp, everybody, that's gonna be it for the anti Bell movie review. If you have not went to go see it, go see it. Or don't. Or don't. Uh, it'll be a waste. Of, I mean, whatever. it's not gonna be a waste of money, but if you really want to see it, it's gonna be a waste it, of money. Yeah, that point. You, you can go see it. But other than that, that's going to be the movie review. Um, Please.